Hey guys, and welcome to the Again YouTube channel. There comes a point in everyone's life when it's time to upgrade to a new iPhone. So what do I do with these old things? Well, whether you donate it, sell it, or trade it in, you're going to need to remove that iCloud account you signed into way back when setting up the phone. And if you're thinking, I never signed into an iCloud, if you've ever downloaded an app onto your iPhone, your device is signed into an iCloud account. But don't worry, because that's what this video is for. We're going to go over a couple of the different ways you can remove this lock, either remotely, if you've already gotten rid of the device, or directly through the device itself. We're going to start with the easiest one first, which is removing it directly from the device settings. So if you've already sold the device or sent it out, you're going to want to skip a little bit further into the video to see how to remotely remove that account lock. So to do the direct removal, you will go into device settings, and at the top, this lists the account that you were signed into. So you're going to want to open that, and this lists your iCloud information. Down here at the bottom, you will hit sign out, and then you just need to enter your password. Once that's done, you'll click sign out again up here at the top corner. This will copy some things over to your iCloud so you don't lose any data. So now you can see at the top that you are signed out of the account. So what you can do is click General, scroll down to the bottom, hit Reset, and then Erase All Content and Settings. This will factory reset the device and remove all of your data. So now that we've gone over some of the ways to remove that account lock from the device itself, you may be wondering how you can remove the lock if you've already sent the phone away or you no longer have it. This can be done in a few different ways, either by using a device signed into that same iCloud account or by using a laptop or phone with a web browser. The first one we'll try is how to remove the lock using a device that is signed into the same account. So now what we're going to do is try to remove the account lock from a device we no longer have. So let's pretend that this device on the left is no longer in our possession. We've already sold it, but after selling it, we realize, oh no, I didn't remove my iCloud account. So to do this, we're gonna to wanna to use a phone that is signed into the same iCloud. From there, go to the Find My app, and now it shows the devices that are signed into your account. This one at the top is the one that I'm currently using. Don't wanna remove that. Down here is the iPhone that I sold. So you're gonna look through the device list for the iPhone that you're trying to remove Scroll to the bottom, hit Erase Device. Right, so this is letting you know that the device, as soon as it's connected to the internet, will start erasing. You can hit Continue, hit Erase at the top corner, then all you have to do is enter the password for your iCloud account. So now the device has been erased, and if you look at the phone on the left, you can see it's erasing right now. And once on this screen, hit remove this device. It'll prompt you to enter the password one more time. And now the device is no longer listed in your devices list and it's not linked to your account. This is gonna be the last removal process we look at in this video. So if none of the other steps work, this one should, and is honestly my preferred choice for remotely removing account locks. And that is by using a laptop, computer, or phone with a web browser and going to www.icloud.com find. Okay, so we're going to go to icloud.com find in a web browser, and this will take you to the login page. You'll enter your Apple ID email, and then that password for the account. And it's going to take you to a screen that's very similar to the last steps we looked at, where it had a map and all of your devices list. So you'll go up to that device list at the top, pull it down, and select the phone that you are trying to remove. And then you can hit erase iPhone, and it'll have you enter the password. If this pops up, this means that you're signed into another device, either like another iPhone, a laptop, an iPod, and it'll send you a code. This is just to verify that you are the account holder. So you will enter the code that was sent to you. 
and then you can just trust this browser. You can hit next for this. And that is just a note to leave if you've lost your phone. And then now the erase has started. It's the same thing where it says it'll start erasing once it's connected to the internet. So if it doesn't connect to the internet, you can click cancel erase request. And then once it's erased, you will have the option to remove from the account. And last time you will enter the password. So now you can pull down that device list and see that the device has been removed from the account. And there you go. You should now be able to remove any device you need from your iCloud, whether or not you have the device on hand. And if you've watched this whole video to remove an iCloud account without having yet upgraded to a new phone, you should and you can by going to www.goagain.com.